ora. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us to our viewers across New Zealand and Australia. We've got a lot of windy weather on the way for both countries and we're talking about Australia a little bit more in this video because the strong winds over there are coming straight into New Zealand next week. So it is all worth watching. So at the moment on the animated wind map, we've got high pressure moving into the New Zealand area. We've got some low pressure moving into New South Wales and we've got a lot of low pressure down here in the Southern Ocean. And that's going to produce two types of weather. It will produce spring-like westerlies where it's a little bit warmer than it has been for the last month or so in some areas as that moves along. And then the other side of it is the cold southerly, the more wintry side that will produce some snow. And that is forecast both strong winds and snow in New Zealand and Australia. In fact, in Australia, the gale force winds will go from coast to coast, from Perth all the way to Sydney and affecting the entire southern coastline, which doesn't happen all the time. So we do actually have a special story about that up on our WeatherWatch website. So if you're in Australia, simply go to weatherwatch.co.nz and you can see our latest maps and the story on that. And for those in New Zealand who maybe don't care so much about what's going on over there, you should do because that weather is coming our way to New Zealand. So let's get into the forecast. Here is the setup for Saturday. So those strong winds hugging the southern coastline. It'll be windiest around Adelaide, but then that windy weather will move into Sydney again as well. Over in New Zealand, it's pretty calm. High pressures over the top of us, light winds, and maybe an isolated shower lingering around the north of the country, otherwise fairly dry. As we get to Sunday, the high pressure system over New Zealand starts to move out to the east, and the westerlies, they are about to arrive. Sounds like distant relatives turning up. So we've got some westerlies turning up, whether you want them or not. They are coming on Sunday after probably about lunchtime. Northerly winds will precede it though. So you get strong northerly winds for Sunday, Monday in the New Zealand area. And then these westerly winds will come on in. Now that blue line you might have noticed comes up and around the southeastern corner of Australia. That will bring in some snow. And then that will track over to the New Zealand area as well bringing snow into the South Island, especially from Sunday night into the early part of next week. So let's take a little bit closer look at these numbers. We are a little bit concerned about the rainfall totals in Nelson and Tasman area again. We are looking here at the potential of 125 millimetres and it might even go above that around the ranges. Lower down, places like Nelson, Mochueka, we're estimating somewhere between 50 and 70 millimeters. Now that is enough to cause some flooding. It hopefully won't be as bad as what you've just had because the rainfall totals up in the mountains and ranges won't be as great, but it's still a wet event and it's still coming into the same area. The positive though, is this map you're looking at covers three days from Sunday to Tuesday. So we hope it spreads out a fair bit. That will reduce the problems. But I think slips are going to be the main issue. Maybe some road closures again as you deal with sort of the crumbling uh, soil coming down the hills because it is saturated at the moment following the recent rain. Eastern areas not looking too bad, fairly dry, but we do get some rain, some heavier falls moving into Bay of Plenty. And that rain turns as snow in the South Island. We've got here maybe 75 centimetres of snow or more. Elsewhere, totals aren't that bad. And it's really mostly up in the ranges and the mountain tops, not coming down into areas where people live. And there could be a few snow, snow flurries around Mount Surapehu, which will also be good. And look at this, even some snow flurries up uh, south of Takaka along the Nelson Ranges. Okay, we've got windy weather coming in from Australia on Monday morning. Uh, gale force winds can be seen in these sort of darker orange areas and we've got winds here, severe gale, uh, potentially getting up to 110 k's an hour around Mount Surapehu. Now by Monday, windy, severe gales around parts of New Zealand but also severe gales around the southeastern corner of Australia, mostly along the coastal regions. Heavy rain coming in around Bay of Plenty, heavy rain coming into Nelson and Marlborough as well, but mostly dry for Canterbury and Otago, and fairly dry if you're around Hawke's Bay. By the time we get to Tuesday, the temperatures drop in New Zealand. That's that cold blue line coming in over us. So there'll be more snow flurries uh, around the South Island. Most of that will be Monday, probably. And then getting into Tuesday, it starts to ease. And you've got, look at this, the next surge of windy weather coming out of Australia with gale force winds coming out of the desert. So it's not going to be overly cold. In fact, warm weather by Wednesday spreads out of Australia and back towards New Zealand. So by Wednesday night, things warm up again in the New Zealand area. And those windy conditions continue on Wednesday from Perth to Adelaide to Melbourne to Sydney and Hobart as well. 
And that's why we're saying, even though it's wintry at times, we're, we're sort of feeling a bit of a spring pattern forming due to all these westerlies. You might not agree with me in Australia, but some people in New Zealand have been writing to me saying it definitely feels a little bit warmer than it has been, um, and yet we're in the depths of winter. So that's a bit of a sign of a weather pattern change. Not to say that the snowstorms and the frosts are done, but what I am saying is the consecutive day after day after day of sub-zero temperatures, they're not looking quite so likely now um, for the overnight lows and even the daytime highs being miserable. We're getting double digit daytime highs now coming into Southland. So there you go, t-shirt weather is coming back. That is all from me. Actually speaking of, just before I go, speaking of hours of sunlight, 20 minutes more sunlight now in Southland and Tasmania. And for those further north, about 15 minutes for Auckland and Sydney and Melbourne and Adelaide and Perth, um, getting extra sunlight coming back now as the days start to get just a little bit longer. That's all from me. Have a great weekend.